Okay, hey everyone, welcome to the Mommy Meetup channel and podcast. We are here again for another fun night of mom talk, and I am Dana Ryan, Miss Dana Ryan on YouTube, and I am here with my co-host, Amy, from Dreamflight 6000, but before I let her introduce herself, um, we are talking about back to school tonight, so let me just say that I have four children, I have a seven-year-old daughter who's going into second grade, and then I have four-year-old twins who are going into preschool, and a one-year-old. So as we go through the introductions, everybody will go ahead and also let you know how many kids they have, their ages, and what grade they're going into, so we can be prepared to launch right into the questions for tonight's Hangout, because we have quite a few. All right, Amy, go ahead and introduce yourself, your channel, your kids, and their grades. Oh my gosh, that's a loaded question. I'm Amy, Dreamflight6000 on YouTube, and I have three boys. Um, Henry is in going to be in first grade, and Evan is in preschool. He'll be starting preschool three days a week next year. And Charlie's not in school. He's 16 months. Okay, perfect. And then also our other co-host is, is <laughs> Diana from Being Mommy with Style, and she was here with us, but she's been popping in and out. Her Wi-Fi is kind of off tonight. So we're sort of waiting for her to, you know, come back in, and then we'll give her a chance to talk. And uh, Delise is here with us tonight. She's one of our special guests. So would you like to introduce yourself and your channel, and uh, also your kids and what grades they're going into? Sure. Hi, everyone. I'm Delise from K Squared Mom, and I have two kids. My daughter is seven, and she's going into the second grade. And my son is six, and he's going into the first grade, and they go to public school. Very cool. So second and first grade, back-to-back -back grades there. Yeah. Okay. okay, well, thanks for being with us. And also Anne-Marie from It's Just My Life CA. It looks like she just dropped off. So <laughs> it's a night. Oh, of no. <laughs> <I know. laughs> Everybody's leaving us, Amy. I don't know what's going on. I go back to school. It's summer. I know. Nobody <laughs> wants to go back to school. <laughs> leaving the call. Yes. So when Anne-Marie rejoins the call, then we will let her go ahead and introduce herself. Uh, so Amy, let's yeah. get right into the questions. We asked the questions on right. Facebook, YouTube Mommy Meetup, so let's just do the first question. First question is from Creative Two Times Mom, 2X Mom, and it is, what is your favorite back-to-school tradition for moms? Okay, I think that's a cool question. Amy, do you have any? You go for it. You start. Okay. All right. Well, let's talk about back to school traditions. Before we started, Amy said, "What is that?" <laughs> so yeah. that's why I don't want to start because I was right. like, what? "Back to school." Tradition I'm new for to the school stuff. Yeah. Right. So basically, I said I think that it's you know if you decide to take pictures of your kids in their first day outfit in front of your house. So we do do that. Like if we have a in front of the house a certain spot and they stand there and we take pictures or so far we just have one but this year with the boys go to preschool we will take a picture of them too on their first day with their backpacks I always think that's really cute to see like the pictures of your kids with their backpacks and everything like getting ready for the first day and then I've seen people do it on the last day too and then they put the first day and the last day together and um, sort of compare it for the year and I always think that's really fun when people do that with the pictures I think that's, we don't really do anything else. I'm thinking I need some, some new ones, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but how about you, Delise? Do you do any? Um, I do pictures of the kids in front of the fireplace every year and with their backpacks and everything. And then I do the first day and last day next to each other every year. But other than that, I don't really do much else. Yeah, so I take the picture. They gotta have the backpack on right in front of our front door outside, turned a certain way every year. We did it for preschool too, and that's it. So what is everybody doing that we're missing out on? I yeah. know. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So Creative leave a comment, and we will try to um, read it. Last in the last hangout, there was all of these comments, and they weren't showing up for us. So yeah. I apologize if you're leaving a comment and we can't see it, but um. Yeah, I'm, I know. I'm wondering what other traditions are there really to do. Other, you know what I think though? Maybe like a note in the lunchbox, like the first day, like something special. But people, parents usually do that like all year round. When you yeah, put, like, I do that year round. A little glove note and something in there. Mm -hmm. Then um, maybe ice cream after the first day or something. Do people do that where you kind of go out know. afterwards and do well, maybe something? Maybe they make like fancy pancakes or something. I don't know. Yeah. Somebody's got to tell us what this 
traditions are here. I think Anne Marie said she had something that was unique, and now she's she's left us. So we're going to be wondering forever what that was. Yeah. <laughs> she's probably planning it right now. Her tradition. Probably. <laughs> she realized she had something to do. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Next question. Ready? Yep. Yep. Okay. This is from the Southern Mom, who we get to meet in three weeks. Yay! I didn't know that. She asked. Oh, the we have to place. say where we're meeting her. We're meeting her at the YouTube Mom Conference. Yes, in Chicago. Yes, August yeah. 15th. Okay, so My brain's going blank because it's 90 degrees in here. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like covered right. up with a blanket. Um, <laughs> You're in a blanket. And it's yeah. like. I think I was in the hangout. You're like freezing and I'm sweating. Yeah. It's like we need to get together and <laughs> can join our climates. All right. Okay, Sorry to she interrupt. says the best place to shop for back to school clothes. And do you shop during tax free weekend? What's tax free weekend? No one told me about this. <laughs> <laughs> we have know? that in Georgia. Yeah, we have that in Georgia. It's just a weekend where the state doesn't tax you on like school supplies and clothes and stuff like that. Oh, I, nice. I never heard of it when I lived up north, but when I moved down to Georgia, I heard of it. So <laughs> I, I don't shop oh, during it. Oh, she's though. southern mom, so maybe it is just a... I mean, they don't do that here. Do they do that, Dana? No, in Philadelphia, they don't do that. We don't have no. tax-free... I think people mm -hmm. go to Delaware because there's tax-free stuff there, but ah. I think really, you know, I haven't done that kind of stuff. <laughs> but, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, Diana! You're back with us. Hey. How exciting. I am back with you. It is exciting. Uh, the internet's going in and out, so I'm on my phone burning through data right now. Okay. <laughs> Fabulous. Well, why don't yes. you tell everybody quickly before you pop out who you are <laughs> and how many people you have. <laughs> I'm the amazing appearing Diana. I am the mommy with style. I have two kids, one that's starting kindergarten this year and one that is starting preschool. Kindergarten is an exciting first year. I think that's so fun mm -hmm. to start kindergarten. I remember being so scared, though. I was, like, freaking out for kindergarten. <laughs> I don't know Diana, how you're doing. <laughs> best place to shop for back-to-school clothes. Best place to shop for back-to-school clothes? I mean, I love going to the outlets, you know, and hitting up, like, the Gap Outlet, Jim Bree Outlet. We were actually just at outlets today, and we got some things at Carter's, uh, Children's Place. So if you have outlets near you, those are always good things. I'm also in a bunch of Jim Bree resale groups where I hunt down older vintage Jim Bree lines that we really like. And other than that, of course, Target is always great to find basics, too. Got to love Target. Yeah, I, I agree on the outlets. We went to the outlets this past weekend. Our situation's a little different, though, because my kids use uniforms, so we have to buy uniforms. Oh, oh that's Public good. Well, and they have uniforms. We mm -hmm. had to do uniforms, too. I always got them from uh, Good uh, Goodwill, like the thrift store. The thrift store near oh, us, good. actually, like... They would sell them because you know the year before, like they get, they're not really used too hard, and like especially when the kids are young, they grow so fast. So you could go there and find a whole bunch of the uniforms there at the local, you know, thrift store. Oh, wow. And uh, I never so that's, thought to check there. Yeah. <laughs> so especially like if you, you know, the the end of the year, like in the spring, go and look because people are getting rid of all their stuff, and then if you go, then you can pick up a lot of the uniform clothes at a really good price. Oh. And um, they would kind of gently use some of them because, you know, some parents buy a lot and mm -hmm. then you have, like, they don't wear them as much. So, yeah. Okay. I'm going to thoughtfully check there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Amy, next question. Ready? Okay. Yeah. Next question is from Lily Blessed. What do your kiddos spend the most time picking out for themselves? Hmm. Okay. I don't know. Mine haven't. They started haven't started picking out anything for themselves. They Mine neither. Really, yeah, it's like I, not, I do all the picking. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, does that mean like every morning or like when we go shopping? I think I'm like not, shopping for school supplies. Uh, I would assume. Okay. Like, do well, they look at like take backpack? Like we've used the same backpack since Henry was started his very first like little preschool thing years and years ago. Yeah. So we don't do that. But I can see kids like spending time looking at backpacks. I guess for me this year, the longest was picking out lunch boxes. Like, my daughter oh. finally got one. My son hasn't picked one yet because he's too indecisive. So, I don't know. That's I guess that's the lunch longest box. they've taken. Where that's do you one. shop for your lunch boxes? 
Oh, I just take them to any store. <laughs> okay. Because I ha I just, you know, here's the lunch boxes in every store and then they get to pick and then I guess that's what makes them so indecisive because I give them too many choices. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, but my daughter picked one from Justice this year which was very expensive, so I wouldn't recommend it. Oh. <laughs> but it was like $15 for a lunch box and I'm like, can it be like 10 and under? Why is it $15 for a lunch box? Yeah. But my son still hasn't picked one, so I don't know. <laughs> Do you get the monogrammed ones? I'm guessing not because you buy them in the store. Does anybody buy the monogrammed lunch boxes? No? I, never I have. That's what I've done. <laughs> I, I did that all for little D. Like her lunch box and her backpack has her name on it. I got monogrammed. I bought them from L.L. Bean. So um, I don't know whether it's because she was the oldest and she was the first in kindergarten. I don't know if you're doing that, Diana, but I don't really think I'm going to do that for the boys. I'm kind of like... Because now, like, I can't pass her back. I can't like take her backpack and pass it down to the younger kids because it's got her name on it. <laughs> so I was like, uh. <laughs> but um, I kind of wanted her name to be on there when she was in kindergarten, just to kind of like help the teachers and stuff know her or something. I don't know. It just made me have like a comfort level. So are you monogramming yours, Diana? Are you going to do that for the girls for their backpacks? I've seen. If, can you still hear me? Yep, we can hear you. <laughs> um, I don't have their backpacks monogrammed, like it's kind of like a security thing, like so people can't just like look at their backpacks yeah. and like say, you know, hey, come over here. Um, yeah. But I, it's really tempting. It is tempting to monogram yeah. it. Uh -huh. But I stopped getting any sort of monogram stuff. Like I don't even do shirts or anything anymore. Yep. I'll do initials, but I don't do their full names. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. probably That's smarter. Funny. Mm -hmm. The first two weeks of school, they made the kindergartners put, uh, they safety pin to their backpacks, their full name, and their all their information right on the back of their backpacks. Oh, no, Aww. it was back on the back of their shirt, too. They, it was pinned to the back of their shirt as well. Was it really? Yeah. Did it get lost? I'm really yeah. worried about, like, dropping her off and, like, her wandering, like, off somewhere, like, and not being in the right spot. Cause well, don't they have, like, wonder. our school has bus patrol, so they're, the fifth graders each are assigned a kindergartner, and they are their buddy. And they are, they always walk with their fifth grade buddy. Oh, see, that would be good. That would make me feel better because I'm afraid. So maybe about they her do that. Like wandering. Yeah, I don't know yet. Yeah, I didn't know until the first day you walked out with some kid. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, who's that friend of yeah, yours? They're holding hands. Yeah, they have a new friend. <laughs> Some kids are weird like that. We were at Bible school, and this other little girl who was like maybe like two or three years older than than Louie, she came up and put her hand like around him, like as they're walking out, like first day, and he has no idea who this girl is, and I've never <laughs> seen her before. And she was like holding him around like the shoulder, and, like like holding him tight, walking next to him, like they were like you know best friends or brother and sister. I'm like, Aww. get away That's from him. You know? But I was like, I'm like, you don't even like. He kept looking back to me, like who's this girl? Like it's just the kids are so funny how they just like bond like that. Like she just yeah. looked at him and went over and started walking with him like that. It was so strange. <laughs> He is cute, though. He is a little cutie, so I understand. He yeah. is cute. He's so cute. <laughs> All right, Anne-Marie has rejoined us. Thank goodness. We missed Yay. you. We were waiting for your story, Anne-Marie, about your, yeah, you took a your little tradition. Break. I know. We thought maybe you just really wanted to get started on your back-to-school planning, so you left. <laughs> <laughs> So can you answer, well, first, I don't think you even had a chance to introduce yourself, so would you like to introduce yourself now? Sure, I'm Anne-Marie from It's Just My Life CA on every social media platform and on YouTube, and I have one daughter, I guess, not going back to school, she is 11 going into the 6th grade, and I have another one entering her second year university. Good, and you want to explain why she's not going into school? Because you we are... are we're slash homeschoolers slash unschoolers. Okay, very good. And go. the, the first question was, do you have any traditions that you do with your, your kids for on school? The first, on the first day of regular school in our area, we attend a not going back to school picnic. And there's probably about anywhere from 70 to 100 other homeschoolers. Wow. Yeah. That's awesome. 
So it's like a it big is. party. That's huge. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're, yeah we, be fun. Yeah, we take over one of the local parks here, one of the probably the second largest park here. We just take over the whole thing and the water park and everything. Okay. Every awesome. time I hear you homeschoolers talk, it sounds very attractive. I'm telling you. Yeah. <laughs> like, <that> sounds really <laughs> nice. <laughs> Yeah, sounds interesting. I know. And then back to school shopping, Anne Marie. I'm thinking you don't really do that, or do you? Do you buy back to school well, clothes and stuff? We well, she's always growing, so yes. <laughs> so after summer, she needs fall clothes because she's grown. If she'd stop growing, I wouldn't have to shop. But <laughs> good. Well, we're so glad you came back with us. All right, Me too. Amy. What's the next I question? Up, I pull up some question, uh, not questions, but. People are comments, I should say. Great. And brought to you by Mom. Crystal said, I wish we had a tax free weekend, not here in Washington. Only select states and items. Um, I'm sorry, there's a whole. There, I, I can read all the comments here. Okay. Sandy, the PJ mommy, is here. She said, Evening, ladies. Hi, Sandy. Hello. Erica, she said, My mom used to make chocolate chip cookies every year on the first day of school. Oh. So we always look forward to that when we got home from our first day. Oh, that is so sweet. I love that. I want to do that this I year. Do that. <laughs> I love that. I want to start that, too. That's, that's so great. simple. Why didn't yeah. any of us think of that? Which yeah. Wrong with us. <laughs> yeah, that's really nice. That's a nice tradition and memory to have. So Blime Jen, Jen is here. Hey, Jen. She says, Hi, Hi, guys. Jen. So excited for back to school. I have one going to public school, sixth grade, and one I'll be homeschooling in eighth grade. Oh, great. Oh, Did you wow. guys talk about doing the signs? Did you guys talk about doing that? No, talk gone? about that, you Diana. Know, we just talked about oh. pictures, but not the signs. <clears throat> like one tradition that we do is I have the girls hold up a sign, like, you know, first day of preschool, and I put the date, and then I always ask them, like, what they want to be, because it's, like, really funny to ask a three-year-old what they want to be when they grow up. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, we've had like a whole range of things from like princess to superhero, so it's kind of a cute thing just to look back on. I actually really love that because you're sort of like help, you're encouraging them too to think about it, like what you want to be when you grow up. And then if you do look yeah. at that over the years, it's so that would be really cool to see like the changes, you know, as they, you know, how they change it as they get older. I like that. Yeah. Good one. It's been fun. And. Anne Marie, they don't have tax free weekends in Canada, do they? Or Oh, I so wish. Okay. <laughs> no, we pay a lot of tax. <laughs> All right. Um, All right, you read our next question? Go ahead. What were you gonna say, Diana? Oh no, I just started to apologize. I don't know how to mute this on my phone. I don't know how to mute myself, so Oh, you're fine. Don't worry about it. I don't hear right. anything. That's <laughs> fine. <laughs> Oh, I can mute you, I think, but then I don't, I'm not sure. Yeah, if you need to, just if, mute me, okay? You're fine. I don't hear it too much right now. You're good. All okay. right, go ahead. Next question, Amy. Okay, we have a lot to go here, so let's get moving. All right, so Brandy's Paradise said, what is on your child's school supply list, and what do you honestly think about their list? Good question. <laughs> I know what I think about the list. Oh, really? You have an opinion? Go for it then, Amy. It's ridiculous. It is absolutely ridiculous. I, the stuff they needed for kindergarten was so much stuff, and then you would get there and you just pile it into a pile. It doesn't matter if your name's on it or not. They just throw them all into this pile, and then he came. You go in the classroom, and by like the third or fourth day, he had lost his scissors, and they had requested it has to be Fisker's scissors, like mm -hmm. the nicest brand, and it just, just seemed ridiculous. And like the six pack of crayons or whatever, when the 24 pack was cheaper. They wanted you to buy the little ones, and then you would get there, and you just all throw them into this big bin anyway. So all I know is I'm doing it different this year with the list. And so I you can, you've got a list, and you had to actually go into, like, Staples or something and buy everything individually? Yeah. You did? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Huge you list. You do that here, too. You do? It's expensive. It's very expensive. It adds up, and it's, yeah. Well, yeah, they do it here, too. They do? Oh, yeah. a certain kind of headphone. The headphones themselves were $25. Wow. So, yeah. Well, uh, for us, I don't know whether it was different because it was we have in a charter school, but they there's a list, but you can order it online like through a company. It's like and they do it for you. So all I had to do was order it and it was oh, like nice. 20, it was oh. like 20, the whole thing That's was 25 nice. bucks. That's and it. it? And it was there in her classroom the first day, and I don't, oh have to, I don't have to shop for anything. I just click it and order it, and it goes to her wow. classroom. 
Oh, and then wow. they have like they have chair packs on the back of their chair, and everything just goes in their chair pack in the back of the chair oh, and stays wow. there. Oh, wow! Nice. Yeah, so, I know nice. it was really oh. easy because I was kind of like supplies were expensive. Yeah, like I think I was like, aren't I supposed to go to the store and buy stuff? And they were like, no, you just order it all together in the bundle, and then they send it to the classroom for. But only twenty five dollars for yeah. all the school supplies. Mm -hmm. That is yeah. an amazing deal. That is great. Yeah, yeah. that's mm -hmm. great. Because it's expensive. Mm -hmm. And then you'd like to create all the twister crayons and all this stuff, the special stuff. And then he came mm -hmm. home from school with one twister crayon, four markers that were just random stuff that didn't well, even... At least he came home from school with stuff. My kids came back with nothing. I was like, what happened oh. to everything I sent? <laughs> ah, yeah, we could get the glue back. Yeah. I thought, I'm sending that same glue with him next year. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it, it had somebody else, uh, some other kid's name. It said Graham on it, so. Oh, whoops. Wasn't his <laughs> glue anyway. <laughs> Crossed it off. <laughs> we've we've gotten like little D came home several times with somebody else's coat on. I was like, that's not your oh coat. My and it just happened like oh all my the God. time. Oh, no. <laughs> and it had like another little girl's name written on the inside. I was like, "This is your coat. Why did you wear this home?" <laughs> and then she'd take it back, and they'd switch or whatever. Then I, I don't know why they did that, but not on purpose. She didn't do it on purpose. It was just like she was like, "Oh, I'm sorry, mommy. I didn't know." So, okay. Next so what do you question. guys think? Yeah, um, Delise, oh. your your yeah. what is yours? Is yours similar to mine, where you spend a ton of money and? Yeah, it's similar. I mean, they don't ask for specific brands, thank goodness, oh. so you can buy like, off-brand and stuff. But I, I think starting in third grade at the kids' school, they don't do communal supplies anymore, so they'll have like their own supplies. But oh. I know for kindergarten, first, and second grade, it's communal. So once I bet that's you get to school and everything get, everybody gets to use everything. Yeah. My biggest pet peeve is that I go and I buy everything, but then there's parents that don't bring anything. So I, know. I know. You know yeah. That's probably why it doesn't say anywhere on the list to label their name. So I'm assuming if, they, if you don't label anything, that it's free for all whoever, whoever's. Yeah. Did you How get your you list, label? Diana? Can I ask that? Uh, no, we don't have the list yet for Michigan. I have no clue what it's going to be like here. And Michigan starts really late, actually, because Illinois starts in August. But we don't start in Michigan until September 8th. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah, That's same day. We start. We're the same day, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, I'm really excited because Illinois starts in like a week and a half. So, like, we'd be wow, like crazy. crazy if we were yeah. still in Illinois. We yeah. start August 10th. Oh, wow. Early. Yes, it's really soon. August 10th is so soon. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so, and you're still coming to the conference that weekend. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. School would yeah. have already started. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> So how do you guys, how do you label, I want to ask that, how do you label your stuff, Amy? Do you do it with a marker or do you order like specific tags to put into the stuff for the kids? Permanent marker. <laughs> Use permanent marker. Okay. okay. Nothing fancy over here. Okay. I the scissors are going to have his name like all I have, like, over. They did. I used a marker on those Fisker's scissors and it's like Henry <laughs> right over the handle and the third was like mommy I don't have any scissors and I called and I looked and the nurse looked and everybody looked oh, uh, you wrote the name on the scissors and they got misplaced that's crazy yeah. oh my gosh yeah I will wow. not buy Fisker's scissors again <laughs> I, we have so many questions well I got I'm little stickers I put the name stickers Abel and all her clothes and her shoes, little stickers that had her name on it. How did they stay stuck in there? They were specifically for fabric, the stickers. Yeah. I bought those you wash last year. and everything? Yeah. did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can wash them. Yep. And they stay did on. Did you get them on Etsy or where did you get them? No, I got. I think I bought them off Mabel's Labels. I Mabel's think that's where labels. I got them. Yeah. I okay. found mine at Target. Right in the back to school. Section. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Well, how do you get their name on them? You can just write with like a permanent marker or pen. Oh, that's, that's right up my alley. I gotta go to Target. <laughs> <laughs> that's great because the coats and all that get lost. I was in the lost and found so many times. So that's good to know. Where in Target mm -hmm. were they? They were right. Um, I think they were next to like the staples and like the post-its and stuff like that in the back to school section. Oh, it was in the back to school, school section. Yeah. Okay. okay. I have to go check that out. 
Yeah. Okay. I think we have time for maybe one more question, Amy. Oh my gosh, what are we going to do with the other 50 questions? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's so many good ones. Okay, I'm just going to keep going down the line. This is from Alaskan Mama Vlogger. Ooh, Alaska. That's cool. She said, if and when do you start your kids on a back-to-school sleep routine in prep for the new school schedule? Ooh, that's a good question. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I start the week before, so we're on vacation now, and as soon as we get home, they'll be back on school schedule. So <laughs> We've never really done this before, so I don't know. We never go off schedule. Maybe that's it. We don't, we're don't. we honest. We're still on the same yeah, schedule. Yeah, we never really. go off schedule here. Yeah, that makes sense. We definitely go off schedule. My kids are still awake. They're running around my in-law's house right now. <laughs> <laughs> but you're on vacation, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Love how open you are about it. You're just like, yep, they're awake. <laughs> She's like, they're over there. <laughs> no. <laughs> Basically, I locked the door and I said, don't come in. Just stay out there. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> wow. Um, I love it. I love how you're here even with an ear infection. You just were rocking oh, yeah. it. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, I'm you're so excited a trooper. to be here. You should not have that on vacation. It's just so sad. I can't stand it. <laughs> yeah. Um, we just wait till the day of that school starts, and um, that's just the way it goes down. <laughs> I would like to be where we go back on schedule, like beforehand, but we never do. It's just like, it's all throughout the summer. You know, like, for just with little D, like the younger ones go to bed like regular time, but her schedule like now that she's seven, like she's like, I want to stay up later with you, it's summer, and I'm just like, okay, let's watch The Bachelorette together. So then that's what we do. And then you she's and little D watch The Bachelorette? Yes. <laughs> I do. Yeah. Oh my gosh. What do you talk about with all the kissing and the... I know. You know I, the, we just talk about all it. All the sounds in the bed and I oh just say, you know, she's looking for her <laughs> husband. <laughs> she's looking for her husband and yes, they'll be ah. together forever and ever. <laughs> Henry came out because he doesn't sleep very good, and I, I was like, cover your eyes. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, so she's up funny. late, like I don't know, like not super late, but I'd say ten o'clock. So she's gonna so have. Is she to team Nick that. or team Sean? Um, I think she wanted uh, Nick because I wanted Nick. Uh, but yeah. I know this isn't a bachelorette hangout. Sorry. Unfortunately, yeah. I love bachelorette, but it's all done. But she was, she was on on the same page with me. Of so. Course. Yeah. <laughs> if she was sitting next to me, she would probably... Right. Yeah, <laughs> then whoever I wanted. <laughs> wow. How about you, Diana? Do you have to switch schedules? Did you already say, or did I miss it? Well, I mean, because we're in a funny situation right now. I mean, normally we just never go off schedule, but right now we're, we're changing time zones. So I'm actually going to have to get them, like, time zone change more than like summer schedule change if that makes sense. So we're That's moving to a time tricky. zone ahead. Yeah, so they're wanting to sleep in later than they normally do, which is working out great for me right now, but <laughs> you know, we're going to have to back everything up once we get ready for school. So their schedule hasn't changed, but the time zone has changed, just so we got to work but on you that. have a month. You have a month. We have a month, schedule. yeah. So I'm not like, super worried about it. Like Honestly, right now, I'm just letting them, oh, yeah, you sleep in until your body thinks it's 7 o'clock, actually, 8 o'clock <laughs> this time. Works out great for me. <laughs> so. Yep, you need all the time you can get right now. Yeah. <sighs> okay, all right, well, is that, I feel bad. I, I, like, Should we do one more, or is that it, Amy? What do you think? That was a good last one to end on, I think. And I think yeah. we did well considering our connection issues tonight and the heat Aww. and the cold and the ear infection. Oh, so. crazy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty proud of us. Go team. <laughs> <laughs> Um, all right, so we want to go through and give everyone a chance to again say you know where you can go and, and find everyone. Um, so let's start with Delise. Go ahead and let everybody know where they can go to find you if they want to find your channel. If you're on Twitter, let everyone know. All right, I'm basically K squared mom across all platforms. The only difference is Twitter and Instagram. I have an underscore between squared and mom because K squared mom was taken. So other than that, it's across everything K squared mom. YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Periscope. Never used it, but I have it. <laughs> okay. Very good. Darn that person. They need to give your Twitter handle back. That's terrible. <laughs> okay. Diana, where can everybody go to find you? 
You can find me at youtube.com slash beanmommywithstyle. Also on Facebook, Bean Mommy with Style. Also on Instagram, which I love. And I do occasionally try to periscope as well. And uh, we're starting to get back going on vlogs. We've kind of been on vacation a little bit while we're moving, but we're in the process of hopefully being in our new house in a couple weeks. So that'll all be coming up. Awesome. Okay, Anne Marie, you're up next. Hi, I'm Anne Marie, and I'm It's Just My Life CA on YouTube, everything, blogs, vlogs.com, .ca, you name it. It's the same across every single platform. Okay, perfect. All right, Amy, where can everyone go to find you? I am Dreamflight6000, again, like Anne Marie, across the platform everywhere, all over, and I am a daily periscoper, and that's been fun. So, Dreamflight 6000 on Periscope. And we cannot see comments. So can you tell everybody about that, Dana? That we can't see them? Yeah. Yes, we can't see comments. I ignoring them because yep. I really miss seeing um, yes. comments. We appreciate you guys being here. I'm going to go in and look at the comments after. Like I, I just went now, Dana, time. and it says there aren't. It, it, it wiped yeah. them out. The ones that were mm -hmm. there aren't even there anymore, so I can't see yeah. anything even on the actual page. Yep. So thank you. I can see the viewers. Thank you guys for watching the Hangout. Really appreciate you guys being here. And uh, apologize, you know, Google Plus is slowly withering. <laughs> so <laughs> we still appreciate you guys being here. <laughs> and uh, we don't know if we will be back again in two weeks at our usual scheduled time. I actually don't think we will because we are gearing up for the YouTube Mom Conference, which is going to be August 15th, 2015. If you're listening to this podcast Yay. in the future or watching this video in the future, it's August 15th, and it's going to be in Chicago. So we are going to be there. So I don't think we're going to have another hangout before the conference. And if you're interested in attending, you don't have to be a YouTuber. The second half of the day is a meetup portion. So if you'd like to come and meet, you know, Diana, Amy, myself, also Delise is going to be there, and uh, many others. So if you'd like to come, you can go to YouTube Mom conference.com so YouTube mom conference.com and uh, we'd be very happy to have you join us and I lost my train of thought um, but anyway thank you to everybody for being here I am Dana Ryan you can find my YouTube channel at Miss Dana Ryan and I'm also on uh, Periscope daily so you can find me there and uh, yep that's about it we're gonna wrap up this hangout and uh, we will talk to you guys on the flip side after the conference Oh, and follow us at Mommy Meetup on Periscope because we will be doing, I think I might do my best to live stream parts of the conference on Periscope on the Mommy Meetup handle. So if you follow at Mommy Meetup on Periscope, I'm going to try to do portions of the conference on there so you can just see it live streamed. So, um, And also that's where you'll find alerts to when the next heart attack game is on Periscope. And if you don't know what that is, go to youtubemommymeetup.com slash heart attack, and that will be explained to you. All righty. Okay. I'll stop gabbing. All right. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye.